What's going on, everybody? This is JVB from the Postgame Report Podcast and TalkingAboutGames.com. Once again, I have the Windows 10 Preview, and I have it on my Surface Pro, the original Surface Pro. And I've been testing out Siri. I, uh, during a video yesterday, I tested it out, and it wasn't working. So last night, she began to work. And I, I think, once again, I called it Siri. It's Cortana, actually. I did that earlier in, in another video where I kept saying Siri, and uh, it was pretty hilarious. Anyway, Cortana. Hello, Cortana. Hey there. What's the weather forecast, or how's the forecast for the rest of the week? Okay. I guess I gotta hit the little microphone more, or, or all the time. How's the forecast for the rest of the week? The forecast shows there will be a mix of sun and clouds, with highs up to the 60s, except Friday when there will be thunderstorms. Well, in New York City, our weather, it's uh, pretty uh, random. It's ridiculous. Let's uh, ask Cortana another question. Cortana, who is Agent Loke? Sorry, I didn't get that. Maybe I should have said Locke. Who is Agent Locke? Sorry, I can't do this for you right now. Check back again. At who is John 117? Come on, Cortana, you should know that. You shouldn't be sending me to a website. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. All right, then. What's the best movie that is currently available in theaters? I'm sorry. I can't do this for you right now. Can't you do anything? Check back again after future updates. Cortana, when will I be able to stream Xbox One on Windows 10? Okay. Putting Cortana through the test right now. Cortana, who is the artificial intelligence that accompanies Master Chief in the Halo games? Cortana, you're pissing me off here. You should be saying, oh, that's me. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, one more. Cortana, can you find any information about me on Google? Hmm. All right, I figured maybe because she knew my name. Actually, she didn't. She doesn't know it, but you have to program her to say your name and stuff like that. Cortana, find the Post Game Report podcast. Post Gazette. <laughs> oh, there goes Post Game Report down here. So she wasn't necessarily working properly the other day. Let me get out of here. And to 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 give you a, a warning ahead of time, you might actually see a reflection of me. So don't get scared. Yes. Come on. Let me. All right. Let me put on Netflix. So you're gonna hit the home button. And you're going to have all of your applications over here. You can see all of them. And you can scroll up and down if, if you feel like doing that. Or you can actually put them here. I don't know if your favorite apps are in this particular piece of real estate. I have no idea how this whole thing works. But let's go to Netflix. Because last night I was watching a YouTube video. And it was working fine until I put it on full screen and it started stuttering like crazy. This morning I tested it out again on Netflix and the same thing happened. 
but earlier when I uh, before I went to uh, before I went downtown I gave it a quick test and lo and behold it did pretty good so as soon as I could find Netflix of course when it when you put show all applications it goes into alphabetical order so there goes Netflix and, and on a quick note even though this is the first Surface Pro the screen is still pretty impressive it's a full 1080p HD uh, resolution screen and even though this particular Surface Pro has been beaten up physically it's been it was used a lot by uh, my brother-in-law who sold it to me for two hundred dollars it the screen is really good all right so I'm watching Hellboy and it's not stuttering anymore uh, let's see if I go to full screen it's not stuttering so there must have been some update that I don't know about that I'm not fully aware about because I have it set to automatically install after it, it downloads on its own and uh, I guess uh, I was actually thinking of going back to uh, Windows 8.1 because of that let's see if the store works yesterday when I tested it out it tells you it's in beta and it was having issues so let's see if it downloads anything and it try again later there's an error okay so as far as that is concerned the beta or the, or the store is currently in beta and it's not really working so for storage space I guess I mean this thing took up a lot of space I had about 20 plus this is a 64 gig by the way I had 20 plus gigs before I did this download or the, the Windows 10 preview and a lot of <laughs> a lot of my storage is gone and I have to figure out where the hell uh, this this is coming from I don't know if it's one drive because one drive is particularly uh, since downloading and installing Windows 10 preview OneDrive just keeps starting and and just uploading stuff to the pro and I keep stopping it so I'm assuming that's what's taking up a lot of my storage space granted I don't use this uh, I don't take it with me anywhere. I usually I, I usually use it at home, and and right now it's a, a test dummy for Windows 10. As I stated yesterday, this is going to be uh, this is going to become extremely useful when Windows 10 is officially out, and I can stream my Xbox One to the Surface Pro, and uh, that's about the main the biggest reason and of course at two hundred dollars is a freaking bargain and a half but yeah this is a problem right here so i don't know if it's the size of, of the windows 10 preview i believe it's one drive that just doesn't want to shut off when i shut it off and it just keeps sneaking files uh into my freaking surface pro but anyway uh it has gotten smoother since i first installed it of course, this is a preview program, so you can't expect things to run extremely well. As you can see, things are starting up really quickly, and this is the original Surface. Things are starting really fast, so uh, I don't know if it's a combination of Windows 10 and uh, the hardware that's in the Surface Pro. So things are running pretty smooth, but... I also noticed that battery life is very iffy and of course this is a used product so the battery probably has been through the paces and is not going to be as strong obviously as it did when it first came out of the box but I get about so far three to, to four hours before I have to charge it again Let's see how quickly maps load up. Not bad at all. Of course, that has something to do with my internet connection as well. But you can see, hey, pretty good. So, 
yeah, that's that. And if I figure out anything cool, I'll make sure to bring it up. Let's bother Cortana real quick. Cortana, can you show me a picture of cream corn? I'm sorry. I can't do this for you right now. Come Check on. back again after yes, future updates. Cream corn. Cortana, can you show me a picture of a cat? Come on, this ain't tough. Let's see. Are we going to get the image that we want? All right, so it brought up cats. One more question. Cortana, why is the DCD such an ugly bastard? I'm sorry, I can't do this for you right now. I had an ad. I had to ask. Future updates. But anyway, I'm JVB. Thank you for watching my videos as always. And I'll be speaking to you pretty soon. Later. And by the way, I'm using the tripod that I bought for my... Oops, I accidentally just hit it. I have my iPhone 6 Plus attached to an iPod. I mean, to a tripod, excuse me. And I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus to record this video. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you think the picture quality is pretty good, the audio. I know it's not up to par when I use my condenser mic. But uh, regardless, I, I think it's a pretty cool little gadget that we have here in this little tripod. So anyway, talk to you guys later.